Welcome to the world of Web3. It is a crazy wild ride and there is so much going on. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through some of the biggest stories that have been hitting the world of Web3 this week, from NFTs to the metaverse and beyond, so that you feel that you are fully on top of what is going on in this new iteration of the internet. And you know what? It never sleeps. So let's crack on and dive right in. Now in quite an uncertain world, it's actually quite nice to get some good news for once. And actually this is a piece of good news that I think a lot of you will want to take note, particularly if you are building in the bear. And that shows that basically trademarks from businesses and brands are being filed for NFTs, the metaverse and cryptos. And that's actually taken itself to a whole new level in 2022. So. The bear market is at such a small part of everything that's going on at the moment. And actually, if we look at some of the positives, there's going to be some big changes because of all the technology that is supporting this new move into Web3. So as of October this year, we have seen the number of trademarks filed to hit a whopping 4,708. Now that might seem like a little bit of a small number, but the whole of 2021, there were only three and a half or just over three and a half thousand of these. So really what you're seeing is an uptake and huge appetite for things in the metaverse and all of its related products. And that's despite everything that's going on with crypto right now. So NFTs as a technology are really starting to trade to take off. And I think that's a really exciting time, particularly seeing that we had that kind of decline in the trading volume and sales. And that's what a lot of people focus on. So let's have a quick look at um, some of the big brands that are stepping into this space. We have Ultra Beauty, which a lot of you guys might actually recognize. They're a cosmetic giant. They actually filed a trademark application to include NFTs and virtual makeup um, and salon services as well. And that's just going to be, uh, you know, a good sort of foot in the sand to say I am or we as a company are really excited about this space. It might take a while for them to kind of bring something to market. But if they're putting out the trademarks, it means that they are very much, um, you know, into this and are looking into it quite seriously. Now, the other is Rolex, um, that luxury brand Rolex. Yes, indeed. They are, you know, one of the most opulent and luxurious products in the world. They have applied for NFTs. So NFTs uh, backed media marketplaces they're looking at and also a crypto exchange as well. So these guys are not messing around. And if you're thinking to yourself, what is it that I can do in the world of Web3? Well, start looking at what some of these bigger brands are doing and start seeing how you can apply some of their thought processes to your own business as well. And I think by filing a trademark, that just goes to show that these guys mean business. My next story is actually a bit more of an opinion piece, uh, which has been brought out in the BBC recently. Um, and this is to do with um, how much people are spending on essentially a land grab in the metaverse. Uh, almost $2 billion has been spent on virtual land in the last 12 months. I've obviously contributed to that. Um, and DAP Radar, which is a, a, an analyst company, says that $1.393 billion of crypto has been spent buying virtual land. Is this a gamble? Is this something that we should be, you know, worried about? Or is this actually the early bird gets the worm? And for me, I'm really bullish on this. I have a piece of sandbox land. I'm very much excited about the positioning of that haven't built on it just yet. But for me, it's something that I know that actually, if you think about where the possibilities of the metaverse can go, it's a solid investment. And yet I said I spent a considerable amount of money on this. But that for me is like kind of buying real estate in a very significant part of London, for instance. And that's why I paid that little bit more for that piece of land. And there is only ever going to be on these metaverses a certain number of land parcels, right? So if you're wanting to get in, a lot of people uh, here like this guy who spent $1.5 million on his purchase of land is betting that actually in the future that is going to pay off dividends. And, you know, for him, he's even got his mum that has been uh, contacting him going, what are you doing? 
are you crazy? Why have you spent this much money? And he was saying that actually he opened a new shop selling st uh, street clothing and also um, selling non-fungible tokens, so NFTs, in exchange for crypto coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum, as well as pounds. So he was already thinking ahead with uh, the world of Web3. And then thinking, well, actually, how are we going to transact? How are we going to trade in the future? What is going to be that next sort of step for the world? And it's going to take a bit of time, but the metaverse is definitely going to be it. Um, and, and for me, although there's a gamble, I like to follow you know, brands and what they're doing, because that gives me a really good sense of, you know, what's going to work and what's not. And you only have to look at the sandbox map like you do here. And my piece of land is somewhere around this bit here at the bottom near Atari to think that actually if these brands are taking a gamble and they're moving themselves into this Web3 space, then I want to be where they are. And I want to be as close to these pictures as where they are. And you can see now that even though there are still a few of these little these little dots left down here, there's not that many left. This map is filling up. And if you saw where this was in 2019, this map was pretty op wide open. So it's an interesting kind of space to be in. Obviously there's other bits of uh, land like Decentraland as well. But the land grab that people have been doing in the last year, I actually have to say, in my opinion, is really sensible. Um, I think it's about getting in early on something like this, sitting on it, understanding how you can trade on it. And I'll be doing kind of a piece on the metaverse and what the opportunities are there coming soon. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. But really for me, there's an opportunity here to be part of something early. If you missed being early to YouTube, early to Instagram, early to TikTok, maybe you can be early to this and that's where i think there's a huge opportunity to really take advantage of so don't dismiss it as a fad look into it do your research follow videos that talk about the metaverse find out whether it's the right investment for you and if you can get in now it might be the right move that you want to make but remember all of this stuff is not financial advice it's possibly is a massive gamble for you to take on and only spend what you're willing and can afford to lose. Right, let's move on. Let's talk about digital fashion. Oh, hello, you've just caught me on another NFT break. Well, whilst I've got you here, I just wanted to let you know that we're really pleased to say that we've partnered with the Tezos ecosystem for this video. Tezos is the blockchain that you can build, play and collect on, and its ecosystem is home to developers, creators and innovators from all around the world. It's also super environmentally friendly with an average energy footprint of just 17 global citizens. Now, knowing that, along with low gas fees and sustainability through innovation, you can rest assured that this is a green, clean blockchain. And don't just take my word for it. Some of the world's biggest brands are building their futures on Tezos, including Ubisoft, the New York Mets, Red Bull Racing, McLaren F1, and even Manchester United. So a huge thanks to the Tezos ecosystem for partnering with us on this video. And if you want to find out more about the Tezos blockchain, then make sure you check out all of the links in our description box below. But for now, let's get back to business. Now, when I talk about digital fashion, there's one brand that kind of comes to mind and that's the Fabricant. They are the leaders in my mind of the fashionistas who are really focusing on digital wearables as opposed to you know, having the kind of couture that is worn in real life as well. And by having that focus, it means that they can experiment and do lots of different things. And the latest thing that they are doing is launching their digital fashion storytelling project called Whole Land. And this is really, really exciting. It's a new project that's been unveiled um, around visual storytelling and Web3 experiences. So let's take a closer look at this. Um, we don't obviously have much at the moment on their website apart from things about su uh, suggesting that the journey is about to begin with this, but it's looking super cool. Embrace your ugly, flaunt your flaws, celebrate your weird. We're going to see something very, very different with this. Now, this is going to take place through NFT drops online. Um, we're going to see collabs with brands. We're going to see lots of collabs with digital artists as well. And this concept is going to, and you can probably tell from like the law that they're putting across here, that kind of combination of fashion, mythology, and 
what they say is also the rave scene as well. Maybe you can tell that from some of these little green bits here that we're going to get into a bit of a rave scene here. But basically, they want to encourage people stepping into the Web3 space to really express themselves through digital fashion. If you've got an avatar in the metaverse, maybe dress them up using something from the fabricant. You know, if you're someone like a World of Women holder like I am, you will have already been given some NFTs from the fabricant as well as part of your investment in that particular NFT. This is just taking it to that next level as well. So really, really exciting stuff from the fabricant. Loads of stuff that's building into the world of the metaverse and beyond. Metaverse, NFTs, everything's still on fire. Don't worry about the bear market. It is going to take time to sort itself out, but I'm hoping that it really will. That it really will. And when that happens, we're going to be in such an exciting, strong place. Well, there we have it. What a week in Web3 it has been. And you know what? This is just the start of it all, because if you are thinking of Web3 as an opportunity for work, if you're thinking as an opportunity for investment, if you're thinking as an opportunity to learn, then there is so much going on that you can really take advantage of. And these are just some of the top stories that are coming out. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you check out other videos like these that will really help you understand how to navigate through the world of Web3. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me as well. Please leave a comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, see you then.